Eleventh hour. Cardiac. Hey, Zoe. Hey, hey, easy boy. Whoa, watch out, kid. Sorry. You okay? Hey, little man, come on. Try and get, try and get, try. Get his helmet off. What's happened? Oh, my God. God, he's not breathing. Freddy, St. John is the third length of your old boy to drop dead of a heart attack in the past four weeks. Oh, he's pretty healthy. Yep, all the local doctors are stumped. This town is desperate for answers, Hood. Welcome to Polo, Georgia. Rachel, look around. What's missing? Kids. There are no kids. Something about the fear of God in this place. It's nothing to do with God. People fear what they don't understand. And right now, they don't understand... Don't understand his healthy lemony old boy dropping dead from heart attacks. How are you all doing? Hi, Bill Larson. Dr. Jacob Hood, Special Science Advisor for the FBI. This is Special Agent Young. Hi there. Listen, no disrespect, but a lot, a lot of other doctors have been here, and none of them come up with any answers. Well, not actually that kind of doctor, but bear that in mind. Well, if you'd like to step this way, the hospital administrator is waiting for us. A addition, K A K C K G Tech to Free West. Additionals free K E K G Tech to Free West. We had to bring in extra doctors of Savannah and Garden City just to cope. Every patient, parent with an eleven year old boy was an E K G stress test and C R T performed on their son, whether they insurance go in cover it or not. Can't say I can blame them. Hmm. Of the three victims, none of them had an inclination, genetic disorder, or history of heart trouble. Blood tests revealed nothing. Autopsies came up negative for anything other than cardiac arrest. Daniel Harker, first victim, eleven year old, suffered from asthma. Second victim, Peter Lotari, eleven year old, was brown, borderline obese. Third victim, Freddie Saint, was a that John was an athlete. The every old kids don't just drop dead of heart attacks. He's my son, Stephen. Mum, can I go home right now? Hi, Stephen. Go wait for me in the nurse's station. Nice to meet you. Some of the parents have decided to call our children home until we know what's going on. School really is up to the standards. It should be these days. No, no few of them are. We start at school. Mm-hmm. We need to check with the office upstairs. What are you doing? Just going to take a look at something. What are we supposed to do? Walk through the doors like normal people? A bear said, You really don't, you didn't really come here to hunt, did you? No thanks, that bear. I thought I told you to wait for me the whole way. I'm sorry. Sorry isn't good enough. You should know better. You shouldn't be spending time with those kids. You'll get back to my office. Go, I tell you, I'm sure. Hope that your partner can get to the bottom of this, Dr. Hood. You're not my partner. He's my responsibility. Oh, hi. Well, you must be Dr. Hood, uh, Charlie Craig, a principal here. Do you mind telling me exactly what th- that it was that, what it was about that? Huh? You knew what you were doing up there. You had a CO pockets in your bread and translation shaft. You know, what? Carbon monoxide. There's a dip in a shaft with carbon monoxide. That's to accumulate. I found it a dead rat there. It was poisoned by a CO. And you can tell that by blood, blood, carbon and white slime. Clings to the hemoglobin. It turns the blood kind of bright red. You can see how my blood from before is much darker than blood close to CO. That is what's happening to the kid, killing the kids. Is that what's killing the kids? Carbon monoxide is potentially lethal, but I don't think that your leak being that it kills heart, heart, heart attacks. Oh, it's a hazard. You need to get it checked out. Rachel, deputy, let's check out the rest of this place. Mum. <coughs> Mum, Mum, I'm going to go back to school. <coughs> you, will, you will when it's all over. Oh, yeah. <coughs> there are people in here. The government seem, sent them to find out what happened to those boys. <coughs> <coughs> Did you finish your homework? Yes. I walk a little home, okay? Alone, you have to work for two, another two hours. Nothing's going to happen to me, honest. Have you got, have you, you got your key? Yeah. All right, you call me when you get home. <coughs> okay, Will. Hey, get your backpack. Oh, thanks. Running your environmental inspection. 
The school was the easy part. What do you mean? From here on, every sight we hit comes with grieving parents. What exactly are you looking for? Anything that might help us learn what brought the dumb Daniel's heart attack, madam. My dear, if I, are you even, even you to, um, into um, computers? <coughs> no, that was our son's thing, not ours. Uh-huh. Did you find something on, on there? No, Miss Harker. Come and take a look at this. Well, it looks to me like uh, Daniel was making some kind of video journal. See, from all these entries here, it looks like he d- goes back to a long time, maybe half a year. Show you how it works. Trista Goddard. Gordon. Smiled at twice at me today. I think she pressed switch places in line with Sydney Mallow, so she wind up on my softball team. Girls are st- st- sort of stupid. But she's kind of cool. God. Hey, Steve and Je- Je- Jesse got it. Hey, yeah, like, just like it, like it, like I said I would. You come in, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to do this, Jesse. Me neither. Maybe we shouldn't, Jesse. I think it's too dangerous. Me too, old chicken, chicken. Come on, man, do it. So these wimps, how tough you are. You're too scared. Ha, ha. Looky what I got for you. Oh, look at that. Lick it, lick it. Come on, Stephen, lick it. You've got to lick it. Do it, man. Come on, chicken, come on, lick it. You're crazy, dude, that's it, that's it. See anything in there that might be responsible for his deaths? Oh, see, hasn't been any, hasn't been seen anything in this town that it will be responsible for that. It's Neil St. John's, Freddy's father. You know, you're about to head on over, over to my place to see what, what I got at home. Might have killed my son. Take it easy. Come on. It's a brilliant plan, huh? Take it easy. So, we're just trying to find out what caused the heart attacks. So, what have you got so far? It's none of your concern, Neil. Oh, no. Well, you were wrong there, Bill. No, Neil, I'm 100% right. Unless you want to commemorate your son's tragic death by getting thrown in jail, you're back off. Who the hell are you, Mr. St. John? I also support that. That's important. I'm here to find out exactly what or who killed your son. All right, all right. But I can't wait forever go home. Maybe we can call a parent meeting at school. You know, bring everybody given. You talk to them at once, maybe. Just sit down. Just calm, calm. Going now. All right. Let me just get this rolling. Sit down. Come on, everybody. Let us get it. Let us get it going. Bill, this isn't, a, this isn't a good boy. Oh, can I have you to come down? Can't you see what you, you're not? All right, quiet, 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 please. Please, calm down, everyone. Please. Just calm down. We've got to get to the bottom of this. We've got to get to the bottom of it. Now, I must think, want to thank you all for coming to, coming tonight. We're not interested in thanks. We want to know if our kids are safe. We'll, we'll, we'll all climb down. We mean, not even town. I mean, how are we going to protect your kids? Okay, so let's not get hysterical, but all listen to me. Everyone, now just calm down, please. Now the government is trying to help. You have set an exercise for the FBI. You're going to help us. I want to, I want to introduce you, him to you. His name is Dr. Jacob Hood. Dr. Hood? 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 They're waiting for us back in the auditorium. No drugs or viruses, no potions, no visual signs of bruising, trauma or stress. There comes nominators, same age, same sex, same school. What am I missing? We came here to talk to the parents. No, I don't you think that we should head on? I are you okay? Who are you? We're here to help you. I'm Dr. Hood, Stephen. I'm meeting the hospital. I have my I have to find my mum. Stephen, come on, breathe deeply. He's hyperventilating. Charnham County, McKinley Environmental School. We need an ambulance. Oh, it could be a cardiac arrest. Mum, Stephen, hey Stephen, you've scared me. I should have lost. I could have lost you. I'm sorry. What happened? You never got. You never went home. Where did we go? Hello again, Stephen. Doctor Hood. Well, that's right. Are you? How are you feeling, Stephen? Tell me what happened. Stephen, who who are you protecting? Get get off. No, Stephen, don't. Terrified needles. Can we get a nurse right here? Thank you very much. The top panel shows faces but but of tin. What the hell is Buffetin? 
It was hallucinogenic. He was more like more capable of causing a heart attack. It was he was a boy named Jesse Freeman out by swamp. They were getting high. He wouldn't tell me with what. Thank you, Miss Brown. That was very that was helpful. Jesse Freeman, Miss I told you mentioned you him too. What where did they get the birth of Finn? You can find it in mushrooms, but more commonly in skin, a very special toad. That's a black swamp snake, Rachel. No, why, right, he's perfectly harmless. That's right. There, there is there is just a baby. Ha uh-huh. ha. Damn, pretty damn tasty. That one right there. Hood. What is that you be looking for up here? Bovo Afarinus, Colorado River Toad in Georgia. That's a species that carries a buffer fin. These kids must have got it some some got it somewhere. This swamp is the closest thing we got to toad. Actual habitat in this area. Oh hello. I know you. I got him. I got him, rabbit. See this little guy. Let me say hello. When he's agitated, he secretes his poison, which is so genetic. Bevertin. What people normally do is they burn off the poison element and render it harmless. When then they smoke it. But if it's harm, but if it's harmless, why did Stephen a seizure? Why well, think that what your kids have been doing? Huh? A thing called bug toad licking. Ah, and you get him agitated. Soon you like, soon kind of like he he is now. So as he starts to secrete the poison, you lick it and get very high. That's sick. But the cold can cause the cardiac arrest. And why didn't the other boys get test positive for the bread tin? Rachel, that's a very good question. Well, I've got another one for you. How does the Colorado River Toad end up in Georgia's swamp? It's simple. Somebody brought him. I don't, but who? I think we should ask Jessica Freeman. He seems to be our local toad pusher. I want to ask you one more time, Jesse. Where do you get the toads? Stephen Brown almost had a heart attack because of it. You give it, you give it to any of the boys that died? No way. I never hang with any of those losers. Except for the school when I go, no choice. Jesse, why didn't you, why didn't you do your mum a favour and be straight with us? Because wait, I'll get the deputy to keep you out of this. Tell him now, Jesse. All right. I took the from the user at Summer's place. Didn't mean for any fun to get hurt. Just wanted to have some fun, okay? Thank you. What's the mum doing here? Ladies at, at, at Summer's. Been in town for almost three years. For about three years, she's up, set up shop. Here's her for a panic, pharmacist. Miss Summers, deputy. Now, how can I help you, Miss Summers? These folks are from Washington, D.C. They are here to help us find how the young, these young boys died. Special Agent Rachel Young from the FBI. Dr. Jacob Hood. Jacob Hood. The Jacob Hood? Oh, I suppose. He wrote a paper on dark matter, unknown, intangible, and immeasurable, yet without it, Heavens would fall. I was rooting for you to win the Nobel Prize that year. Oh well. If it were, you were one of the only people in the Western Hemisphere. But fate could nevertheless. Yeah. Do you grow a sickrim tortrim? Oh yeah, can I? I use it as anti anxiety remedy. Yeah, but it's more than that. That isn't it. Kanga goes back to break various time. Early hunter gatherers used as an appetite. Supplements so they so present they could hunt for days without going hungry. But show us where you keep your rover Colorado river toads. You have quite a variety of dangerous animals and insects here. Well, sometimes in the most dangerous venomous poisons serve as life savers. What do you want to do with the toads? Oh, uh, what do you do with the toads? Oh, homeopathic erectile dysfunction medication. Set it up from on the internet. Then we have other remedies. Miss Summers, we found Mufatin in the blood of an eleven year old boy who nearly had a heart attack. Jesse Feeman said he got the toad that produced it here. I'll keep, I'll keep this said very sure. Now these toes, they breed like rabbits, so it's very hard to keep a body head count. Now if someone wants to get take a chance and come in, steal one, don't, don't see why I can't what I can do to stop it, but if I'm going to string, well, have I got to string up razor wire? Might as well move back to the city. Well, maybe if you stay in the city, all three of these young people might still be alive. Jesse, Jesse, what's up, honey? Mummy, why is 
Dressed is so cold. No, well, you're rather late. I'm sorry about this, Ella, please. But I need to speak to you. My son is asleep. You've been seen for, you've seen me for a terrible time. Jessica Freeman is dead. Another heart attack? Well, I feel for his mother. God, heaven knows, God knows he's suffered a lot because of him. Nothing. I that she suffered now that she's, that she's dead. What are you doing outside of Freeman's house today, Mrs. Brown? I went to give that boy a piece of my mind. Tell him to stay away from my son. I saw you beat, beat, you beat, then I saw you beat me to it. Do you mind? I take a look at your bathroom. Your kitchen, why? To assess my scientific curiosity. Help yourself. Thank you. Turn it over there. Mm, no TV? Well, don't have a TV. It's unnecessary distraction. Did you even find out what we were looking for, Dr. Hood? No, not yet, Miss Brown. Thank you. Good night. Well, that was an interesting response to Jesse's death. I say, didn't find any real lines of toxins. Of course, heart attacks in children. Could we get that? Could you get that right away, Freddy Street? John's dead. Heard about the Verto women. Went out to there's a summer's place. Busted, busted it up. I'm gonna pick, go pick him up. Miss Summers, we heard of what happened. Oh, you okay? No, not really. I got, don't get somebody taking their the anger out of my plants. Dr. Lenson is arresting Neil St. John. It's hard. No, no, I've got to, I don't, I've got to press charges. I can, I just can't be angry at a man. Lost his son. I could use a drink. What? To, want to join me? Sure, Lisa. Uh huh. Do you always wear those gloves? Where when I'm handling poisonous plants. Poison? You mean like Dictalius Pupsia? Poison? You mean like Dictalius Pupsia? I don't see it in your garden. Well, don't grow it in here. There's no need. It grows wild all over the fields. How do you know purple petals? Did you show us where? There you are. Purple purpose. purpose. Uh huh. Foxglove. Could be toxic plant. Medical. Several medical properties. Permanently hard of medication. Mm -hmm. This is so called foxglove. Well, it's old wife tale. Medieval days. They believed that foxes could Put their paws on the flowers to cover the sound of them creeping up the chickens. Quite d d deadly, though. You get the wrong dose. I know what you're thinking, it, but it's your way, you're wasting your time. After the first boy died, contact the hospital and did suggested taking the dose. Oh, yeah. I don't show up the blood tests or any of my own victims. Hmm? Well, that's an old mystery, that, then, isn't it? Just as such my courtesy. Do you use fox glove to make your heart? Heart medication. That's right. And for anyone in town, that's one. That's for one person. There's one person. Sam Tuesday, the the school math teacher. Oh well, couldn't Lance Benson. Tuesday is well liked in town. The kids love him as teacher. But it wasn't always the case. Huh? It's plain. Well, back in the day, he's the first African American teacher at the school. Came perhaps at least one of the victims when you kicked out of town. Right. He looked, took a lot of abuse, could be, could be maneuver, attack, avenging the sins of the father. Why do you, why do you do it now after all these years? He's old and sick. He's looking to settle the score between, before he dies. Uh, people get a little crazy in their old age sometimes. Sometimes a slightly younger age, like cold dementia. I go, I could go at any time. Sorry for this all. Could offer you this light time of day and evening. How many lemonade? Thank you, please. Do you have an impressive, you have an impressive collection of early maths and philosophical, philosophy editions, Mr. Fosbury? Addicinia, difficulties, roll the direction of the mind, Wiener, difficulties, he is an invalidator. Oh, accepting nothing as true, and not self-evident. And always we check the reason behind every problem. If uh, you have contrastive heart disease, and if something tells me that you, that you know what that I do. You also use homeopathic medicine that Lisa Summer makes from delicious peppier. Thought we were here to talk about children. I teach Dr. Hood. You mean the dead ones? Who all died from heart attacks. Several witnesses have placed you at the hospital. Each of each of the heart attacks death. Concerned about my students. Been having a hell of a time. I'm going to ask both of you to leave my house right now. Thank you for your time. All right. I want you to cope. Cover these down and turn them in tomorrow. Quit it, you suck. Hey, hey, I'm going to kick your ass. Kiss ass. 
Hey, break it up. Fight, 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 fight. What's going on into you boys? Hey, hey, that's it. Crichton. What's going on into you two? He started it. He was, he, he was kicking the back of my chair. No, he wasn't. You, no, you, no, wasn't you, liar? Quiet, you know, I was really disappointed, both of you. Wish you were dead like the others. What are you saying? The kids knew something about these deaths. If you told me, you two ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Come on, get out of here. Get your stuff. We've really tested Jessica Fulgrens about twice with every variation did to take this. Negative all the way. Are you sure? Twice. They're teaching the school. Well, we'll check it out and check that out. Thank you. There, that was Lisa Summers. Terry and Paige were ordered more hot medication for her, but he didn't pack it up. She'd been calling him all day. No answer, Miss Fulgrens. Mr. Shrewsbury? Miss Shrewsbury? Sam, Mr. Shrewsbury is dead. Uh, spoke, Mr. Fefrio. Don't touch it. What is it, Foxgrove? So he went a lot of time, a lot of pages. You're sticking these pages together with it. How are sticky pages going to kill somebody? Well, it depends how you read. If you lick your fingers to turn the pages, you'll probably end up ingesting the poison that way. Catherine with Demisi, 16th century France, she used his method to kill most of her enemies. I need to see some everything the victims are wearing or carrying at the time of their deaths. I'm gonna call, call. I've got to call this in. I get. I get right on it. Thank you, Nessie. Someone around here is killing off the weak. Clearing a path to use them in there. The other man, Rachel. I'm going to need some buff toilet wimbleys. The bathroom. Here we go. Why are we in the bathroom, Hood? Because we want a clear environment with no pollen distractions. If this foot's grove of any of the victims possesses possessions. The first thing our little friends are going to be attracted to. Here we go. I think I'll wait out on the porch. Don't mind. Yeah, there's a lot of bees. Where's your glove? No, thank you. Put on your helmet on. There you go. They're going right for the grove and talk contaminator. Asthma, to, asthma, a, asthma inhaler. Lunchbox with Friday St. John's bicycle. Foxgrove was all in all the victims of her lungings. So I only know what caused their heart attacks. Digital populace didn't show any obtuses. Why? I want to do do a DNA test on all the victims, their parents. Don't don't have a, but don't have the hospital lab do it. Get your boys at Conco to take care of it. Okay, sweetie, bye. DNA results. Get this. According to the blood samples, this hospital gave Conco. None of the dead boys are related to their parents. That's ridiculous. They're his parents for long t- families for a long time. For most of them, been f- then brought home. The hospital, I'm with, I'm with Sheriff, nobody must, somebody must have switched the blood samples. No, hold on, hold on. What do you find? According to the DNA samples, all the blood must come from one pre-present boy. Well, your school is the source of the deaths, not the environment. A student? Do you have a plan? More like a person for hypothesis. Care to get me in on it? Trust me, does he actually know what he's doing? Most of the time, all right, settle down, settle down. Everybody pay attention up here. So now, right, all very ready for you. Thank you. I'm Joe Capood, the scientist working with the FBI. Oh, yeah? I met your math teacher, Sam Trisby, before he died. You know, Sam gave his life to school. Before he died, he, he asked me to come up with a math problem for you. As a sort of challenge, he said some of you were getting too smart for him. You know, he's not here. I'd like to give you the chance to solve my problem for him. Oh, the winner will get a grand, grand, guaranteed general pair FBI handcuffs. Pay attention, good. So the first stage, F the rocket burns 25 seconds longer. The stage, second stage, which we could call S, now the total burning for the both stages, 145 minute seconds. So each stage, burn. Anybody? Anyone? Oh, okay. Tell you what I'll do. I'll leave this on the board tomorrow. You have to wait and see what you can do. Thank you very much. For that. Back to you. It's purple, Simon. Simon. It's not, but it's not the fox grove love. Actually, it's a dive from Japanese indigo. Just a little taste of their own medicine. Set this plant won't kill you. We need to talk about my why you killed your classmate, Stephen. You didn't kill those. He didn't kill those little glasses. I did, Mum. Shut up, Missy. Miss Brown. Please step down back. I killed him. I had access to the toxicology lab at the hospital. 
I used Stephen's blood to switch the samples. Every one of those kids was nothing but trouble. I had my son drinking beer, getting high, and mum's trying to protect you, Stephen. But obviously, she obviously loves you very much. But we know, though, she didn't wouldn't be able to whip up the digits from the Foxgrove grove plants. You could, though, couldn't you? Incidentally, all the deputies that they found uh, your chemistry kit covered in Foxgrove. No, it's not his, it's mine. No, stop, Miss Brown. She remembers the lab equipment off of the school, for Christ's sake. He's only 11 years old. It's all you all I have left. You say that? Stop it, Mum. You shouldn't get in trouble for what they did. I had to kill them. They were holding me back. They were holding the whole school back. The whole school was suffering because it was those stupid kids. Because of how bad our overall grades test score were. Some of these teachers were leaving for the other schools. Uh, but somebody had to do something. Well, says Drew Bree, I saw Mr. Fruitby in his classroom. I heard his question the kids. He suddenly suspected the kids who was behind the, all the deaths. And he made a time before he figured everything out. He's a smart man, maybe not as smart as me. So he sent him the his book, My Mother's Cookery, as actually, it's a code to live by. What, does, what doesn't kill me makes you stronger. You took quite a risk licking the dermal lemon. Why? To blend in with the others for suspicion of myself. You drew up your blood, own blood, switched the vampires, and made your mum believe you're terrified of needles. I mean, I believe in a lot of things. What it was going, what, when was it going to end? When someone was smart enough to stop me, I guess. Do you know what that comic book, Superman, it was actually based on never ends for sort of, sort of psychology, philosophy? And up and away, how do you like to be the court appointed psychiatrist for whose old full time job? So, in little boy, it's even brown for a decade or two. I can think of worse things to do for a day. So, Hood, what do you like as a little, little boy? I like, kind of like Stephen, I guess. I want you to compete with the best, but it's hard to know how good you are if you kill, if you kill off the competition. Well, I for one believe that you use that brain of yours for good. Thank you. Maybe I never got caught, just got, never got caught.